TFNN. The Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN. Headline News Update. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman here. This is the Tiger Financial News Network 10 a.m. market update here on Friday, the 18th of February. Don't forget, we've got a holiday on Monday. So we'll be back here on Tuesday. 34,362, up 50 points. It, it sounds great. Uh uh. Look at this pattern. The lowercase h pattern is still in place. We could not get more than just a little mini arch. Really important that sometime next week we start to trade in the Dow 34,800, 900 area rather than break 34,000 support. And of course, we've got a weekend coming up here. So even though there could be that Friday squeeze with options, monthly options expiration today, it might be ameliorated by the fact that uh, there's a lot of pressure on the market right now, both political, bonds, everything. So here we go. S&P. S&P is up 9 at 43889 Now, it has not yet taken out uh, the, the left side low of just a few days ago. So far, this is good action. But when you're looking at this arch pattern, which also failed to make a decent um, M formation, it's really important. By the end of the day, or at least intraday, we need to see a good 18 points to 22 points up in the S&P. The Dow needs to make about a 250-point rally. And then maybe by the end of the day, everyone gets a little nervous, but you need to have that. We've had no signs of strength at all. QQQ, NDX 100, had a sign of strength earlier in the futures. Now it's down 20 cents at 345.22. Also, not very good pattern here. IWM, the Russell 2000. Um, it's up 90 cents at 202.09. It's a much better chart pattern on the day that looking. The weekly chart is terrible and the monthly is terrible. Gold, gold's been the star all week. Pulling back just a little bit down five at 1897. I've got in a leg C, the GDX, which is the gold mine, as I'll talk about this when I get back. Is in a leg D, made I have 35.11, trading now down nine cents. There's a lot to talk about in this whole area. Uh, let's go to the TLT, which I think is absolutely imperative to talk about. Up a little bit today, up 58 cents. Are we going to see yields pull back here? The financial stocks maybe take a bit of a breather. There's a lot to talk about from my Tiger Technicians hour i'll be back in a moment and just wanted to mention that crude oil is as we said pulling back from the high that was made five days ago not much but it's down i'll be back check out my opening call for my daily news